Bullet Bob Armstrong versus Jimmy Golden in a loser leave town match. Dr. Tom Pritchard versus the Road Dog for the Russell Birmingham, Alabama heavyweight title. Wildcat Wendell Cooley versus Exotic Adrian Street for the European belt. The legend match, Bill Dundee versus the legend killer McNasty. Special challenge match with Roy Lee Welch versus Dennis Condry. And a whole lot more. Make your plans to be there. I'm a man, I'm a pro, and I'm better than you. I can bend you like a pretzel, I can tear you in two. I like to There's going to be a rumble in Birmingham tomorrow night as the legends of wrestling come to Batwell Auditorium. Right now, here's a clip from May 13th with Wildcat Wendell Cooley against gorgeous Jimmy Golden and Robert Fuller managing some of the legends that you'll see tomorrow night. Introducing first, from Montgomery, Alabama, weighing 265 pounds, gorgeous Jimmy Golden. He is accompanied at ringside by the Tennessee stud, Robert Fuller. This match should be quite a battle. Gorgeous uh, Jimmy Golden. One uh, half of the stud stable of Robert Fuller. Making his way into the ring. Robert Fuller, the His opponent, a man that has not been about to lock it up here on Russell Birmingham. Welcome in, and I'll tell you, already today in this program, what wild action. You saw the outcome of what happened when uh, Brickhouse Brown and McNasty got into it after the ladies' match uh, last week with ODB and Tracy Brooks. Brickhouse acting the gentleman, and then today, as we were trying to get this program started off, McNasty decides to literally Pearl Harbor Brickhouse Brown, who had to be helped from the arena. And uh, that, the Midnight Express doing their damage, running roughshod throughout uh, Russell Birmingham and the NWA. And now this match is uh, quite quite a matchup between Jimmy Golden and Wendell Cooley. It is good to see Wildcat Wendell Cooley back here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's been so long since he's been in Birmingham, so long since he's been inside the squared circle. It is indeed an honor to see the man that uh, we have not seen in many years. Wendell Cooley, Jimmy Golden, these are two veteran athletes in that ring that can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and uh, they're no strangers to each other. They have battled many, many times before. They have. They have met each other countless numbers of times. Jimmy Golden and uh, Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Actually, the, the feud between these two go back many years. goes back over 15 years uh, right here in this area with the Continental Championship Wrestling. And... and uh, this is the first time I think Wendell Cooley has met him in, in several years, so this should be an exciting match. Wendell Cooley is a is a tactician in the ring, and of course Jimmy Golden. Uh, Jimmy Golden has been known to take a shortcut or two, and uh, uh, the the tag team that he has made uh, famous with Robert Fuller for three decades of professional wrestling still going strong. And you know when you look at these wrestlers in the ring, there's I don't think there's a professional wrestler in America today that uh, would. Uh, really enjoy getting in the ring with some veteran like uh, Wendell Cooley or Jim Jimmy Golden because these veterans bring so much to the ring and uh, quite frankly I think they can take the measure of uh, uh, an awful lot of wrestling athletes that are out there. Today. I think so because you've got you've got Jimmy Golden. He has been around the world so many times. A man that that has held many championships. You got Robert Fuller, which we all know what Robert Fuller is all about. Uh, for many years he has caused nothing but turmoil and. And, and excitement wherever he goes and and nothing different nothing different on this program or any other program you know that is something uh, you you speak very true words Brett West and I know you as a second generation uh, member of the wrestling uh, profession and, and have witnessed and uh, have, have seen what these men have done
done throughout their careers. And the one thing that is is a very true line of Robert Fuller, wherever he goes, havoc follows. Oh, it does. It does. Robert Fuller, he, he can cause more trouble than I think I've ever seen anyone cause in, in the wrestling business. He can get him talking at a wake. I mean, he's, he's a, he, he can stir it up. And, of course, here in Russell, Birmingham, and uh, the really the rebirth of professional wrestling in the Magic City, uh, already Robert Fuller's uh, impact uh, duly noted, and especially when it comes not only to the Alabama uh, Tag Team Championship, which uh, uh, they've got a big match. Uh, he and uh, Jimmy Golden have a big match coming up on uh, June 10th at the Zamora Shrine Temple in Birmingham for the uh, for the Tag Team Championship now held by the Armstrongs. It's going to be a spectacular match. I mean, you're looking you're looking at people that have wrestled each other for countless numbers of years, and and the thing about it is, it doesn't look like a feud. This feud's never going to stop. I mean, you're looking at Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, uh, Ron Fuller. All the Fullers have had nothing but problems, and Jimmy Golden with the Armstrongs for several years. So it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. And despite the fact of the lapse of professional wrestling, live professional wrestling in in the Birmingham area, uh, uh, these these as you say few that have been these are long-standing I mean uh, the Hatfields and the McCoys have nothing on what's been happening between the Armstrongs and Fuller and Golden and between the Midnight Express and and uh, the Rock and Roll Express and and as more stars come into NWA Russell Birmingham I think you're gonna see a lot of old fires if you would rekindled and I'm not talking about in the positive way I'm thinking about they're gonna fire up like the Sloss Furnace I think so because you know you take all these wrestlers, you take something. I mean, you're, you're looking at Robert Fuller. He took Bob Armstrong. They were in a side of steel cage. He was teaming with, with Bullet Bob Armstrong. That particular night, it was a Christmas night back in 1984. Robert Fuller took the opportunity to turn on Bob Armstrong, leaving him inside a steel cage with his brother Ron Fuller and Jimmy Golden. Here's a man, he'll do anything, and to, to take a man and set a man up that bad and beat him as bad as Bob Armstrong was beaten, I don't think you'll ever get over that. And that's exactly what Jimmy Golden, Robert Fuller, did to Bob Armstrong, and I don't think he's ever going to forget that. Well, I don't think uh, Bob Armstrong has ever had a Christmas present quite like that, and that's something, like you say, will be remembered for a long time. And there's Fuller just fanning on Golden. All he's doing is stalling for time as uh, Jimmy Golden recoups so outside the ring. And Window Cooley now attention diverted by Fuller and that allows Jimmy Golden to grab the advantage Golden oh that was a thumb right into the throat no doubt about it you could see by the way Ken, uh, Wendell Cooley went down that caught by that thumb and now Robert Gibson choking him from the outside well you know Robert Fuller <laughs> This is what I'm saying about Robert Fuller. Look at what the man will do. Taking Wendell Cooley, choking him on outside of the ring. But once again, that's what Robert Fuller has made. Let's, let's be honest. The man has made a fortune in the pro wrestling business. And this is the reason why. He will do whatever it takes. You think about it, the man has been wrestling professionally for many years. And for the last few years, he's took people like Jimmy Golden. And he's took wrestlers, uh, the nasty boys. He, he managed those guys. You, you think about it, he's took tag teams. He took individual wrestlers. And he's made a fortune with him, and that's what he's doing with Jimmy Golden and now evidently prime time Alex Skipper. And right now, and that, that's what Fuller does best. He, he just from the outside of the ring, he wears a man down. And now, right now, I, I dare say that Wendell Cooley is just really not knowing where the next attack is coming. Is it coming from outside the ring with Fuller or inside the ring with Jimmy Golden? And now Golden goes right back to work on Wendell Cooley and Wildcat Wendell. Worst to wear right now is Jimmy Golden taking the measure of him. Referee being distracted by Fuller, and in the meantime, Golden going to town on Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Wildcat Wendell Cooley, it's like he has no chance between Robert Fuller and Jimmy Golden. Some of our wrestling fans showing concern. Uh-oh. Wendell Cooley may have just gone downstairs on Golden. But you know, you think about it, he had no other choice. He's, had, he's got two guys beating on him, so what did he have to do? That, I mean, he had to take some kind of course, even though that's an illegal course that he could get disqualified for it, but still at the same time, he had to do what he had to do. There we go, the Cooley stop. The Cooley stop, and these fans know exactly what that means, and Jimmy Golden is about to find out again. 
There Wendell you see. Cooley. Look at Wendell Cooley go. Big elbow smash by Wendell Cooley on Jimmy Gold. Rolls him up for the cover. One, two. Did he have him? Got a two count was all he got. Referee was down to count very quickly. And right away, Robert Fuller up on the apron. And Wendell Cooley tries to get him down. That's not what you're going to do. You don't need to turn your back on Jimmy Golden. Yes, there's, your, there's your stomp. There's your kick. W.O. kick by Wendell Cooley. The wrap up on Jimmy Golden. Referee being distracted by Robert Fuller. Uh, the referee now, Cooley has to go back and read. There he goes for the big bulldog. And he hits it on him. He's beat many a man with this hold right here. The Wendell Cooley bulldog. He had the cover. He's going to bring Robert Fuller on in. Fuller wants in the ring. Wendell Cooley brings him in. He's going to bring him in the ring, and that's exactly where he should have been. The referee calling for the bell. Look at that. Kick it and kick it on. Not a good place to be, despite the fact Wendell Cooley had it going his way. Now Jimmy Golden. And here comes Scott Armstrong. Super kick. Scott Armstrong hits the ring and is going to town on Robert Fuller. Jimmy Golden turning his attention to Scott Armstrong now. Here's Fuller kicking at Armstrong. And again, the renewal of the feud between the Armstrongs and Fuller and Golden. Cooley's got a boot. He's taking his boot off in that. It's going to chase Fuller and Golden from the ring. And the referee awards the match to Wildcat Wendell Cooley. And the winner of the match. The winner of the match, Wildcat Wendell Cooley. NWA Wrestle Birmingham heavyweight champion Dr. Tom Pritchard defends his title against the Road Dog like he did on May 13th against the dog faced gremlin Rick Steiner. Let's take a look now. Well, there we see, ladies and gentlemen, the dog faced gremlin Rick Steiner to take on Dr. Tom Pritchard, the Alabama heavyweight champion. What a matchup. These are two legendary components of professional wrestling for several decades. Tom Pritchard from a wrestling family. Of course, the dog faced gremlin, graduate of the University of Michigan, an outstanding amateur athlete, and then he has held so many championships, of course, with WCW making a worldwide name for himself and anywhere Rick Steiner goes, the, the bark, if you would, from the fans ensues, and uh, this should be quite a matchup. And, of course, with Dr. Tom Pritchard, you're, took a, you're talking about a doctor of wrestling, literally, a man who knows every square inch of the ring. He does. He knows every square inch. He's been wrestling for many years. He is a former Continental Heavyweight Champion. He has held the Alabama Heavyweight Championship on several occasions. Uh, this man has held every regional title you can think of, and He's held tag team championships throughout the country as well. And, of course, he has uh, most recently become the Alabama State Heavyweight Champion by uh, winning that title in Dothan uh, a few weeks back and uh, is right there to defend it. And the thing about talking to Dr. Tom, and he's always been this way, and, and, and I've had the opportunity to not only call some of his matches but work with him behind the microphone, and he, he's one of these people that he is, he'll take on anybody. Nothing scares Dr. Tom Pritchard. He's in there, and he'll defend it. And you're seeing the Alabama a championship being defended today right here against the dog face gremlin Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner, he has he has a brother, Scott Steiner, which had national recognition. But Rick Steiner is the man that, that talks Scott Steiner all he knows. This man, he has been every he's been a tag team champion he's been a heavyweight champion I and mean, you've got two guys in the ring right now these men complement each other both of them former tag team champions former heavyweight champions i mean they complement each other so great and also a lot of respect by both of these men for each other and they've been you know they've been tag team partners before they have worked against each other before uh they have been and they've shared the same dressing room and have ridden down the roads and flown on the same airliners with each other but at the same time when they climb into the ring one-on-one -on -one against each other everything else is out the window all that counts is the match we're watching today collar and elbow lock up right now tom pritchard bars the arm of the dog face gremlin and steiner knows how to counter that one and does with a big right hand for well, the dog face gremlin rick steiner he knows well he's getting all over the referee 
tell you, Steiner, he's got a mean streak in him, and of course, uh, a great amateur background, so he knows the ins and outs of, uh, of the amateur style of wrestling. He, of course, wears the uh, protective headgear like is uh, common to amateur wrestling. And right now, he is taking the fight to the Alabama heavyweight champion, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Well, Dr. Tom Pritchard, he is a ring tactician. He knows what he's doing at all times inside the squared circle. And right now, the dog face gremlin, Steiner backs him up against the buckle. Referee calling for the break. And watch Steiner because he'll break on the four and a half count of a five disqualification. He well, is so good at that. Well, Rick Steiner, well, there he is. Tosses there he's it. throwing Tom Pritchard outside the ring. Takes him to the floor. And Steiner now. I'll tell you, Steiner, I think, smells this belt. He smells victory here already. I think he's got Tom Pritchard really in the early going of this match. And now that can't help. Yeah, I can't help but help his cause, if you would, as he takes Pritchard into the iron railing. Well, there you see Tom Pritchard on the outside of the ring. I don't know what he's doing. What he's is he got, doing he out there? looks like he's got some masking tape, or no, what is he? He has, he's got tape. He's got tape, and he's choking Pritchard with the tape. Steiner choking Tom Pritchard with a roll of it, what it looked like some kind of duct tape or masking tape. And he's using it to his advantage. Steiner, that mean streak coming out in, in, here in Birmingham. Look at that. Tom Pritchard with the tape wrapped around his neck. I'm going to tell you what, this Rick Steiner, I don't think I have seen him this mean. This, I mean, this man, is he's out of control. And he is really taking it pillar to post with Pritchard. Pritchard trying just to get some breathing room here, and the Alabama champion is in trouble. And Steiner taking him right into, uh-oh, he's got a chair, and he just nailed Pritchard with the chair. Boy, what has gotten into Rick Steiner? I noticed uh, he wasn't real talkative when he came to the arena today, but I think uh, his actions are doing the talking right now in this championship match. Yeah, he is, he is not in a good mood. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is pro wrestling, but they, he's going past pro wrestling now. I mean, here's a man that, it, that has, has held amateur championships. I mean, he's not worrying about wrestling. He's worrying about going out and hurting the man. It looks like somebody may have poured sour milk in his Wheaties or something. I mean, he is upset, and Tom Pritchard is feeling the wrath of it. Well, let's uh, give uh, let's uh, give credit where credit is due. Steiner has got Pritchard uh, literally on the ropes, but uh, Tom Pritchard can mix it up when necessary too. I mean, he didn't uh, receive the doctorate of wrestling by not knowing how to pierce six it, and that's exactly what he's resorting to right now. He's resorting to taking the fight right back to Steiner, but Steiner now re-grabbing re the advantage, raking at the eyes of the Alabama champion, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Pritchard in the corner. It's a dangerous place to be with the dog face Gremlin. Blocks that right hand, counters with his own. There's another one side of the face. One boot to the midsection. Here's Pritchard to the buckle, taking Steiner right into the buckle. Pounds him. And now we're seeing Tom Pritchard, the Tom Pritchard we know, come alive. Steiner has a cover. He's got the rope. One, two. Did he get him? Did he get him? Steiner, I believe, has gotten the match. His feet were on the ropes, as you saw here. I'm not for sure. The referee, the referee is saying no. The referee is telling Rick Steiner he didn't see it. No, he's saying he saw his he saw his feet on the rope. Was that, was That's what he, what was he just saw. Credit to the referee for catching that. Roll up on Steiner by Pritchard grabbing the trucks. Two, three, he got him. Oh, he, he, he is still the Alabama Ladies heavyweight champion. Ladies and still gentlemen. the champion is Dr. Tom Pritchard. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Steiner thought he had the win, but the referee saw Steiner's feet on the ropes. Pritchard Ladies and gentlemen. the favor with the roll up and used the trunks. And now Steiner taking his displeasure out on our referee. I'm going to tell you, he is beating the referee pillar to post. Wait a minute, what pile is he doing? driver, pile driver. No, oh. power slam. She drops the elbow. Where is the director of enforcement for the NWA? I hope Roy Lee Welch is seeing this. All the referees trying to come to the aid of their fallen comrade. And now he's going after the other referee. Goodness gracious, he's just going to take out all the referees here. And 
Man, sakes alive, somebody, somebody's got to get here mixed comes on Roy Lee Welch, the director of enforcement. The director of enforcement, Roy Lee Welch, is getting into the ring, and this is going to have to call for a suspension. Roy Lee Welch is asking for the microphone. Rick Steiner, as of right now, you're on temporary suspension and fine. for beating up the referee. And he is on temporary suspension pending review by the board of directors of the NWA. I'm gonna tell you this, this is, this is something else. I cannot believe that Rick Steiner would do this to the referee still in the face of Roy George. Roy George has been, he has been hurt. Steiner, obviously the fine is a good thing at this point because it uh, stops any further damage done to the referee. We're gonna have to get attention to the referee as Rick Steiner leaves the ring. Tom Pritchard retains the title. We'll be back with more on Russell Birmingham. There's more NWA Championship Wrestling action coming your way, so stay tuned. Look out, Jack! <laughs> Excitement is in the air because on October the 8th, the legends of wrestling come to the Batwell Auditorium and I'm talking about Bullet Bob Armstrong versus Jimmy Golden in a Loser Leave Town match. Dr. Tom Pritchard versus The Road Dog for the Russell Birmingham Alabama heavyweight title. Wildcat Wendell Cooley versus Exotic Adrian Street for the European belt. The legend match, Bill Dundee versus the legend killer McNasty. Special challenge match with Roy Lee Welch versus Dennis Condry and a whole lot more. Make your plans to be there. <laughs> I can bend you like a pretzel, I can tear you in two. I like to Hey Jack, are you all right? No, I'm just trying to make a few bucks clipping edges, Spike. Hey, speaking of clips, let's watch some clips of past matches featuring some of the legends of wrestling who will be here at Batwell tomorrow night. Won't do? You see him, buddy? Before I say something to you that I really shouldn't say. Well, Mike Jackson showing the better part of Valor. Look at the, wait, wait a minute. Jimmy Powell has gone right after Mike Jackson. Picks him up, and what a suplex. Shades of the dirty white boy there. Jimmy Powell now removing his tie. He's got it around the neck of Mike Jackson. He's choking Mike Jackson with his neck tie. He is choking Mike Jackson down. Jimmy Golden being wore out in the corner. A Pier 6 brawl at the Shrine Auditorium in Birmingham. Max, oh, in wait ring. a minute, look at Robert Fuller. Robert Fuller in the ring with Jimmy Golden and one-on-one -on -one with the bullet. What? Robert, he has something in his hand. Scott Armstrong's back in the ring. He got it, slams Robert Fuller. Scott Armstrong grabbed whatever Robert had. Holds Robert Fuller. Robert Fuller's not the legal man in the ring. Whoa, he got it That's in up. the side of the chest. And Ladies over, and gentlemen, and over, we have new national tag team champions. New tag team champions. Tommy Cumberville and what he has done down there, and uh, I'm very uh, familiar with several of their athletes, and including a young man that will quarterback that team this year from right here in the Birmingham area, Brandon Cox. And maybe someday we'll have an opportunity to talk more about that. But in the meantime, back to wrestling. There's Tracy Brooks catching ODB. Got her! Into, there was really in it, no loser in the match. And Look out! Brickhouse Brown is in the ring! Brickhouse! The break! Whoa! Brickhouse with the belt over the head of oh. Oh my goodness, Holy he is down. He must have knocked him out. Oh. And Brickhouse Brown helping out McNasty oh. being kicked onto the stretcher by Brickhouse Brown just when you thought it was over for the Brick. Oh, this. McNasty and Brickhouse Brown. McNasty a bloody pulp going to work. He's got the ring bell again across the back of Brickhouse Brown. Oh my gosh. What's he's he a good got? He's guy. got he's got something in his hand. He's got a napkin or something in his hand. He's got it over the face of Brickhouse. He's smothering Brickhouse Brown. Wait a minute, I smell something. Do you smell that? It smells to me like uh, some kind of, it's gotta be, it's, it's obviously rendered the man unconscious. Well, once again, 
McNasty's pinned Brickhouse Brown, but they're going to have to carry him to the dressing room. That's right. The, the only way McNasty will win is to carry him to the dressing room. Brickhouse Brown being carried out. Have they cleared the arena with Brickhouse? And indeed they have. It's over. This one's over. This one's over. Who went over there? Brickhouse Brown oh, rendered man. unconscious. Tomorrow night at the Batwell Auditorium in Birmingham, not only will there be 11 tough matches, but there will also be an award ceremony where many of the legends of wrestling, most of whom picked by you, the fans, will be inducted into the first ever Wrestle Birmingham NWA Hall of Fame. Make your plans to be there. We'll be there. Well, that's all the show for this time. But don't forget, tomorrow night, stars will fall on Alabama as the legends of wrestling come to Batwell Auditorium in Birmingham. We're headed out now so we can get there early and get good seats. So until next time, this is Larry Spike Lloyd and Mad Jack for Wrestle Birmingham. Jack, you got the bus tickets? Yeah, ma'am. Good. Boy, I'll be glad we get up enough money to get bikes to go with these handlebars. Well, I got to win them. Yeah. I wind you like a spring, I don't care what your age is You come to meet me, you better learn to fly Cause you'll hit the mat hard when you come from the sky Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do I destroy my opponent just to entertain you I win or I lose by the count of three But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me The ropes won't save you when I start my attack If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back I'll spin you like a top and when you've had enough I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough Cause I'm a big time wrestler and I like what I do I destroy my opponent just to entertain you I win or I lose by the count of three But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me I'll throw you and kick you and make you feel sick I'll set you on fire like a candle wick The ref will yell and the fans will complain But that won't save you from feeling the pain the I'm pain. a big time wrestler and I like what I do I destroy my opponent just to entertain you I win or I lose by the count of three But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me